because it, it shows up like I'm, I sound pretty good. Like oh. I'm not peeking or nothing in my OBS. You sound great. What's going on, everybody? My name is Jordan, and the, today we are doing episode 43. 43. BTF is our own podcast. We have Aiden and John. What's poppin'? Gamers. Oh, shake and bacon. So as of recording this, um, we have, I'm going to say we've been at it for a year. No. It's close enough no, to a year. it's tomorrow. Whatever. It's, it's, it's two it's hours. It's in two hours, yeah. Actually, it's one hour, 59 minutes, and some odd seconds, you fucking plebs. Well, actually, me, it's four hours, because I'm two hours behind you guys. Imagine not hour. being Eastern, you fucking idiot. Central time, baby, let's go. Hey, when Anyways, I move to Central time, time, you will be the only one on Eastern. Okay. Well, Max. Well, we love Maxwell. We don't care about and Chandler. Mook. We love Mook. <laughs> <laughs> we love Mook. But for podcast boys, it'll be... Uh, just me. Yeah, just you. It'll make things a little bit fucky, but we'll work with it. Uh, we'll work with it. We'll work with it. It'll be fine. So anyway. Been at anyways, this for a year, yeah. Been at it for a year. So I want to talk about some of the episodes. Okay. Okay. Starting out with uh, episode three, which was your first episode on John. Uh, skating fast while John jokes on the sky sidelines. Skylines. That was a good one. <laughs> Nissan, I'm an R34 <laughs> in disguise. <laughs> now that was anyways, fun. That, epi- that was... episode was fucking hilarious. Yeah, it was, was fun to do. That was a good start. We talked about the horse jelking mm-hmm. and... Skating fast or eating ass. Skating fast and eating ass. Fair. Skate fast, eat ass. It was good. It was overall, that's the uh, the aerodynamics of a horse cock. Yep, talking about stroke and dick, too. Yeah. So. It was it was one of the better episodes. Too bad, like, the editing wasn't up to par yet for that one, because I do go back and rewatch it, and it was t- a touch off. But, but I, I mean... Other than that... In th- you, you gotta theory. learn somehow. You know what we yeah. could do in theory. This is looking very long term. The, okay. like, the five year anniversary or something. We remaster it. Remaster the best ones and edit it. We re edit, remaster it. Yeah, yeah. We could do that. It's plausible. Yeah. It's free content, boys. It is free content. But going back to. Um, there's a lot. Mm-hmm. One, the one we just did. One of the ones we just did. The bands and bananas. That was a fun one. Yeah. I re-listened to that at work, obviously, because I wanted to, and just to touch back, because we know we're coming up on a year. And fuck, is that a good episode? Yeah, it was enjoyable. It's arguably one of my favorite episodes we've done. It has sixty-one views. It is taken oh. over as the most it viewed. It is taken the most. It is the most viewed. It's arguably the best one we've done. Well, when we get into a groove, we just kind of go off the cuff, and we don't just we don't have like super long gap periods. We find things yeah. that just kind of keep flowing. Just, yeah, talk about shit. I mean, and we don't get all really monotonous. Nice. Yeah, it just it just gets good. Like they're fun. Getting canceled sucks. This Dino Crocker Supergator has three views. I mean, um, getting canceled sucks. But that was fun to getting record. Was, it was fun. Getting canceled wasn't really fun to record. But yeah, it kind of sucked to... Uh, that, one's, that one's one of our I little passion that projects. Well. I didn't edit that one very well. That one was really bad. That was the... Uh, <laughs> if we did not edit a couple things, we could have literally been canceled. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I edited out a couple of things. Thank you. And then I did a, I did a disclaimer at the start there, so... Yeah, you know. But look. Every now and then we go, we go on a streak like that where some, it's like we do, yeah. unwatchable and then goaded. Or goaded yeah. and then one where it's like, ah, we could really get in some hot water. If, if a large portion of people watched us, this one would get us in some fucking hot water. It would be bad. It would be bad. <laughs> but I'm happy with Bands of Bananas. It was really good. We talked about boobs and bananas and me being banned on Xbox. Which was fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. which I think it was the name that was fucking it up because it was originally bands, bananas, and boobs. Every single bands, time, boobs and bananas. yeah, every single time I tried to upload it to YouTube, it would fail. It didn't like boobs. Yeah. It failed four times before I removed boobs, and it suddenly worked. See, and my plan was is uh, we were gonna give John, we we're gonna give you as a thumbnail with you with uh, like a the band hammer in one hand. 
a banana and the other and just have a big pair of bahubas. <laughs> Bahonkadons. <laughs> like, what we could have done could, is we could have done like a Russian USSR do like the, the band hammer, the banana, like the uh, <laughs> hammer and sickle. Yeah. <laughs> and boobs at the bottom. There you that's, go. That's no, the thing. banana has boobs. I want the banana has boobs. It's the peanut butter that's jelly time banana with boobs. <laughs> All right, Aiden, get on the Photoshop part of this shit. That's all of you. I pay for it. Might as well use it. I am not good at anything like that. I don't have the fucking patience either. Otherwise, you know, say I'd help edit and whatnot, but I just don't have the... the, the... I don't, you can edit I don't a the pair mental of, capacity. You can, you can edit a pair of tits on a banana. I don't have the <laughs> mental capacity and, like, attention span. It's all goldfish up here, bud. I want I want to get to the Photoshop, but it's the like every time I try, back. it's like I can't. I just can't, dude. Yeah, I, I mean, it's... Photoshop takes a lot to learn, like to use all of the fucking tools it... that they have, and like yeah, yeah. There's a lot of shit with Adobe that they just straight up don't tell you where to find the tool, yeah. what it does. Like when I was fucking editing, how to like fucking add in like the photo in the back of my green screen. I had to, oh, I had easy. to like, yeah, but there was nothing. Adobe like was like, fuck you, get bent. YouTube, yeah. You just alter key it. Yeah, but I had to look up how to fucking alter key because again, Adobe was like, fuck you, get bent. The fact that they don't share that kind of thing or give you any sort of guidelines is kind of fucked. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, with Premiere Pro, they obviously assume it's like, hey, this guy has used the product before and all that shit. And once you get the hang of it, like Premiere, oh, I'm sure is it's like cake, yeah. Super, it's yeah. Premiere is super easy to use, like super easy to use. Yeah, but if you don't know how, you're kind of like taking a shot in the dark. I mean, the but, hardest yeah. part for me yeah. was fucking editing out the first few seconds until we started off with the. How's it going, guys? This is episode whatever it was that I, did. I think it was like episode thirty or some shit. Something Are you like still that. doing uh forty? Yeah. Which, yesterday was 41, right? Yeah. I can't count. All right. I'll yeah. label that and yeah, upload it today. Day, the other day, the other day, the one was 41. Please do. I've been waiting on it to edit. Don't and eat then... me. Mm. Time and place. Yeah. Time and place. I'll probably. I didn't shower yeah, today. Come on now. Might get a little extra flavor. Ooh, cheesy. Homemade garlic. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, and then we, we. Dude, I've watched so much. And in a bunch of our episodes, we talk about Tarkov. Yep. And Hunt Showdown. Well, yeah. It's kind of a lot of the, Letterman. That's, those are the games that we play, dude. I mean, well, we play other things, but it's we don't. a ton of Tarkov and Hunt, man. Well, that's our main, it's our main jam. Oh, it, yeah. It is our main. We haven't played Hunt. We, we got to play Hunt when I get home. Yeah. Um, Aiden, me and you are doing the F-123. Yeah. Oh, boo. Fuck y'all both. But you don't want to, well, I mean, it's I don't two care. player. I know. I was gonna say I've I've got F one twenty two, twenty three. I have twenty two. I've got twenty three. I've got them both. I don't have twenty three yet, but you can. Uh, I mean, we can swap you don't off. Wheel though. No, you're fine. John can be team principal. He. I was gonna say he can either that. he could either be team principal or he could be fucking Martin Brundle. <laughs> I'll just be Zach Brown. One of you guys can be Danny Rick, and I'll fuck you over. Oh no. <laughs> No, you're fucking no, you're team principal. Uh, I be Gunter Steiner. You're total wolf. Well, no, 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 no. We're definitely going Haas, <laughs> so yes, he will be Gunter. Oh, he will be Gunter. <laughs> start cussing you out and making stupid jokes. I love yep. Gunter. Dude, Gunter's amazing. Gunter's so good. Gunter's so good. Did you see the fucking Formula One Drive to Survive where he was he was just with Benotto, just like in the side of Italy in like this tiny little car they were just driving along? <laughs> No, mm -hmm. I have. I haven't watched any of the drugs survive, but I have to because it's supposed. It's supposed it's so good. good. My it's, my favorite yes. part is that these guys are supposed to be like bitter rivals in a way, but then they spend half their time outside, you know, of like their free time, fucking around with each other. Well, They're just bros. It's, just, like, it's their passion project. The only ones who don't is Toto and fucking Christian Horner, yeah. Red Bull and Mercedes. Yeah. They fucking yeah. hate each other. They hate each other. Like, so they much that it's it's other. off the track. Yeah. I like Toto. I don't really care for Christian. Toto. 
Lewis. I like how a couple of I like how angry Toto gets. No, oh, yeah. Michael. No, this is so not fair. Yeah. Toto. It's called Toto's racing. Great. What does that mean? We went car racing. Yeah, and then it's like fucking. Like Christian Horner, like Horner was just yelling at yelling at him, it's like to you, lift your car up. That's why you're having so much fucking porpoise. Yeah, he's like, yeah. you have so many problems. And then Toto was like, I heard Sergio say the car was shit as well. And he's like, I'll call him right now. It's not. And he's like, well, whatever you say. And then Christian's like, you have a fucking problem with your car. Fix the fucking problem. Yeah. And then Toto yeah. started getting mad. And then like everyone was. And then that's when everyone else raised their cars, and suddenly the porpoising was good once they raised it to Red Bull height. Yeah. Uh, what other episodes? Thought, like, Go ahead. Another, like, the fucking Aston Martin car is so good this year. Mm -hmm. So good. It's so good. It's so good. Especially after the, uh, like, second or third race upgrades. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a top car. Is it catching Red Bull? No. Is it consistently a good fucking car? Yes. It's fighting for number two, yeah. Like, and Honda's coming back next year with them? Uh, 25. 26. 25, 25 or 26. 25. I think it's 25. Okay. Whenever, whenever the new contracts start, because I think 25 starts, and that's when Audi's joining? Is yes. Yeah. yeah, Honda's coming back 25, and I think they're being... Aston Martin only suppliers for Aston. Yeah. yeah, but the issue is too that I I have to think about is like, you know, obviously Red Bull Honda they're amazing. Red Bull went on to manufacture their own thing. Honda does didn't have a Formula One engine manufacturer anymore. I don't know how good the new Honda. I mean, they'll still be good. Yeah. I don't know how good they'll be because Red Bull literally just hired bought everything everyone yeah. all of the machining tools they, and hired red everyone bull, from honda red bull went into the factory one day and said you guys now work for us and that's it yeah, and <laughs> honda was like okay pretty much because uh so, ford's coming in to be ford powertrains yeah 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 they're gonna go they're I don't know. probably gonna go I with fucking Haas. They're going shit. No, they're already going Red Bull. They're contracted. Red Bull? Yep. Are they for AlphaTauri, maybe? Uh, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's Ford Powertrains. Cars? Let me for see. Their main car? Pretty sure it's main car. That's insane. They just opened up their own power they literally unit. Literally just yeah, they literally just bought out like Honda. Red Bull. What the fuck? What year? For 26 God. and beyond. Oh. Well. Weird. Shit. Welcome to F1. Shit changes all the time. Because you remember Force India went through like six different rebrands. Then they became the uh, pink Mercedes. Oh, yeah. And, BWG, yeah, they became Racing fucking. Point? It was Force India. And then it was fucking Racing Point. And then it was a different colored Racing Point, And then it went back to pink BWT. And now it's fucking Aston. Yep. We we are pinked up. We are pink car in F one twenty three playthrough. All right. What else you got episode wise, Jay? Before we go on too deep of a tangent. Wise, before we go into F one tangents, uh, the gel floor himself was pretty good. We had Mook. Mook. Yeah, having Mook on here. Like, I wish we could con him into doing it more, but it was fun. Yeah, he's a good personality to have around. Giant goofball. And then I like our um. The few failed episodes where Jack tried to edit them and they fucked up. <laughs> the one that, there's the one that's the, only eight minutes long. It's eleven minutes the long. The problem is, is those are the good episodes too. Like we the had some good is, ones. Some of them were really good. The problem is, they were good and they were like an hour and twenty minutes. And then yeah. I go to fucking upload it, and I'm like, "Man, this thing uploaded fast as fuck." And then I go to rewatch it in my in like the drive download, and I'm like, all right, we're good, we're good, we're solid for the first eight minutes. It's like pretty funny, we're talking nicely, and then suddenly media corrupted. And I was like, oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I feel this goaded is a is eleven minutes 
and 39 seconds long. There, there's been a couple where uh, we, we've realized that we weren't recording or for some reason we decided like our system stopped recording it for us. Yeah. There's been that happened a couple of times. There, there's been some times where we're like, there's some episodes where I just say, no, we're, I'm not fucking uploading that. Yeah, there's been a I'm couple. I'm not editing that. There's been a few. There's in the, in the early days, we used to try to record two a day, sometimes three. That the third, third one was, was always, always scrapped. The first one always ended up okay. It, okay, it either ended up the first one was good, the second one was bad, or vice versa. And then the third one always was trash. There's no, no bouncing third back. There's always dog shit. We, one's always, always dog shit. It's because we tried force what? and shit. Well, we tried to force it, and there's only so much that can you can talk about, that yeah. you can talk about and come up with in the span of four like hours. Do, yeah, we're coming up on like four and a half hours of recording or whatever, and it's like, damn. Uh, yeah, it's it, a couple of them were really bad, but now like we're we do it every now and again. It's really nice when I'm home for two weeks and we actually fucking do it, as opposed to one. Yeah, like, we're going to be short episodes, obviously. Well, as opposed to yeah. one and us all having shit to do. Yeah, like, today, yesterday we could have did one, but we were all busy. Mm-hmm. Today, I was fucking busy all day. Yeah. Like, it is what it is. Like, we'll probably be a little... And it's like, well, it's, have to wait. it's like you got home on Wednesday, but me and John still have work Monday through Friday. Yeah. And then on the weekend, you were busy yesterday. John was busy yesterday. I was fucking and busy from like noon to six today. Yeah, getting my I was busy leg today. yanked around. So it's not like we try. Mm-hmm. And I don't. I John gets on me as saying, "Oh, you always want to record." It's like, yeah, because like. No, I don't. I don't blame just, you. Just the schedule, right? Like we try to get it out every week. I think the one thing, the one way I can explain it is if, like, you're voluntarily going to go do something, but then someone tells you to do it, and you're just like, I don't want to do it now. You, you know that? Yeah. You know that whole mindset? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like back in back when I was younger, I was going to go do the dishes, then mom yells, go do the dishes. Fuck, I'm not doing it now. It made me mad. <laughs> I, I know you don't mean right, that, so, but that's, like, so the closest. So, so don't ask, just load up OBS and say, sync clap, three, two, one, <laughs> and then we're going. I mean, that's one way to do it. I'll do that from now on. I see a lurking fat in the back who, the instant you laughed, he just turned and stared at you. Yep, yep. Good old fucking fat. He's getting skinnier. Is he? I'm purposely doing it. Nice. Fuck her, uh... He's just gonna be... With both cats. (laughs) With both cats, I was feeding them, like what one and a half cups of food which is a decent chunk yeah yeah and fat ate most Most of it yeah so i chopped them down to what two-thirds of a cup which is still a little bit more than most cats usually most cats will eat like half a cup but it's progress yeah see with how i feed zelda it's i just pour her food in a bowl and she eats until she's full and i know like dogs are like they're just gonna keep eating i've never had that issue with any of my dogs Hmm. never my cats typically weren't too bad but with uh casper he just wasn't getting enough food i guess he was always scrawny but that was bullying him getting all the food yeah fair. Uh, let's see here what 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 other good episodes we have a a few um let me look at the list just the two of us the first time was just me and aiden that was a good one but yeah that that was was cut short too that was cut short, too, because we were going for, like, an hour, an hour and a half. That one, we almost went for two hours. Yeah, like, holy fuck. Well, we also did have uh, Full Mast for NyQuil. That was a good one. Oh, yeah. F- oh, man, Full Mast for NyQuil was a goaded episode. That was that was such a good one, man. That was when I had COVID. And I was like, just so much fuck at NyQuil. How, how can you have COVID? Was, it's not real. Did I get COVID before that and then talk about... After. Oh, I got COVID after you got COVID. Okay. Yeah, you got it after. Because I got mine... I had mine in September. Oh, yeah. And I got and mine got, on New Year's Eve. Yeah. Yeah. Literally started feeling like trash December 30th. Yeah. And then everyone hit me up on the 31st. And I'm like, bro, I can't do shit. Like, I'm like, oh, bro, yeah. I, I, I think I got COVID. 
when they're like no and shot on new another, year's another another good early episode is uh hentai hennessy and horsepower oh yeah that one was good yes I yep didn't re- i didn't rewatch it but yeah it was it was pretty good it was a good one yeah that one was good i mean those ones were the ones the early ones you can kind of tell how we've gotten better the even though they were good there's yeah. still some gaps where we were there like trying to think about what to say each other and think about what to say and shit like that yeah but now like we always talk over each other <laughs> like, yeah, yeah you got to get comfortable he kind of eventually we're, just, we're talking like we're just talking in discord yeah eventually you know <laughs> you, you don't it's not 24 7 overlap you find out that someone's trying to talk or vice versa and you just shut the fuck up but yeah 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 it's comfortability yeah. It's good. Yep. Like we're just getting we're getting better at it. Like we've been at it for this is a year. forty one. Almost, yeah, a year. Yeah. But a lot of the things we talk about is Hunt Showdown and Dark Dog Cars, <laughs> Guns, Games. Okay, you know what else was a fucking actually good like <sighs> decent episode? What's that? Frozen nuts and jack sucks. Oh, where we, where we, where yeah, where we just good. shit on Jack for like twenty that minutes. That was good. That was good. I didn't. I I haven't rewatched that one, but it. Yeah, it's. That was one of the last like two that Chandler was in. We yeah. got to get Jack back in one. Every time we fucking get Jack in one, he doesn't change his fucking thing from MOV to MP4, and it doesn't work. Yeah. So what you got to do is you just got to fucking bully him and. Make him screen share. I have. I did. And he still hasn't changed it. But yeah, we gotta get him back in it. I love Jack. He's gonna be at the wedding, so it's gonna be good. That's good. Um, The in-person ones are gonna be funny as shit, because you guys are... The in-person ones, I think, are gonna be good. (laughs) You guys are sizable gentlemen, and I'm sitting here at 5'6", a buck 35. Well, we have... I'm gonna look like Piper Perry. We have laps available to you. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. There may not be enough chairs, but my lap is always open for you, big boy. So do, for Are you still a Toys R Us kid? Or a kid can be a kid. <laughs> okay, for in person, are we just going to do one of just the three of us? And then one with everybody? I think that'd be fun. One with I us am... three and then one with as many fucking people as we can get into it. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, Which we could... It's going to be tough. I mean, we... with, with the DJIs, it's not going to be bad. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I still will probably grab an extra set of that so we have two of them there, so we can have at least two have sets, yeah. four, That's but four mics. That's... I mean, you can s- then... hear what's going on around you pretty well. Yeah. Like, when you're wearing your, DJ, your uh, DJI, like, and you're upstairs talking to Haley, we can still hear Haley. So, yeah. I mean. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um Obviously, you guys are like, oh my god, what the fuck? There's no J. Where's your microphone? Because you usually see it. It's on my chest. I'm using one of the DGS trying it out. So, just with my chest here. So, yeah, mm-hmm. we're just, just testing them out. Chester? So, we're talking about Chester? Talking about Chester? It's, it's, your bike's covering it. Look at that. Okay. Hmm. Holy fuck, you got a sweater underneath your shirt. Damn right. Just got a shag carpet. <laughs> Just like fucking, uh, what's his, got it? what fucking movie? Austin Powers. Yeah. I still... Austin Powers. Such a good movie series. God, I love it. So another, another good one is a bad league, The Homeless. That was, really <laughs> yo, oh, that, yeah, I, most uh, recent ones are pretty good. Yeah, the, that, that one was, was good. good one. There's a couple of dude. there's one dude who didn't like my, my uh, viewpoint on The Homeless. <laughs> yeah. That's but uh, I like to take it that he was homeless himself and uh, and found him in that exact same situation. And I was like, and I just tugged on his heartstrings <laughs> he a little in the wrong was, way. He was one of the guys you fucking <laughs> uh, he was, you walked away from. He was one of the He's guys, one of the guys, guys that I stared at. <laughs> He's like, hey, I remember this guy. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> okay, this is going to sound horrible. There's some dude that uh, every single day when I get off of work has a sign that says looking for work. And every now and then I want to tell him, be like, yo, I got a place that's looking for some hired hands out in like Asheville. What is it? Nothing. It's the point. 
<laughs> Send him you all the way there do? for nothing. What you should do? Give him a fake phone is... number. Tell, tell him Jeremiah sent you. No, no, do a fucking type out www.portalongyou.com <laughs> slash careers on a piece of paper and give it to him. Yeah, go to Canada, go become a diamond drill. No, it's it's American. Oh, yeah. Port Longyear, the head office is out of Salt Lake. Well, that's a little bit further away than uh than fucking North yeah, Carolina, but you know. They'll hire every anybody and fly you anywhere. Yeah. I mean, I and I, I guarantee this dude will pass his drug test. Drug test. <laughs> <laughs> so, did we already touch up on that? Why I'm only getting a week off? <laughs> um, no, go for it. I don't think so. Not on the podcast. We'll we'll do not it again regardless. So, I was supposed to be home two weeks ago. I was supposed to get my two weeks off, but some dude didn't pass his his DNA test, uh, and uh, I had to stay an extra week. And then I'm like, the field soup. Was like okay, cool. Since the other guys good haven't soup. worked, yes, he's really good soup. Since the other guys haven't worked, I'm gonna talk to the big boss and see if you guys can have your two weeks off, and then come in for three, and let the other guys work for three. I'm like, that sounds great. Eight is that doing for you too? Mm-hmm. And it got shut shut down. What's doing what? No, nothing. <laughs> yeah. I was literally just sitting there thinking, watching his mouth move. I'm like, damn, this would be a good story if I could hear him. <laughs> uh, your Discord oh, no, is being stupid. No, 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 no you're Dis- fine. Discord's cutting out. Not, I was not watching here. your, 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 your audit. Oh, yeah. No. yeah, I know. I'm like, I have my OBS up. I'm like, I can see myself talk, but you guys, yeah. I don't it know. was cutting out, and I just look over at Abe and start smirking. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he hears that shit too. Oh, no. Rip. <laughs> No, it's just Discord being Discord. It happens occasionally Disc- without you know, that mic. Discord is fucking dog shit lately, man. Dude, so is Steam right now. What the fuck is going so on? Yeah. Maybe it's Windows 11. Well, I've got Windows 10. I don't think it's Windows 11 because Maxwell has Windows 10. Maybe right. that's why you guys are yeah. having problems. Because I'm not. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it. It's a possibility. I don't feel like doing another install of Windows. I'm not. I'm not going back down to Windows 10. Just go back to Vista. Uh, fuck it. Go back to XP. Let's go. Windows XP time. XP. Who needs a GUI? Let's Rather. just go back to 98. Let's No. I mean, like I said, who needs a GUI? Why don't we all just run the shit off of Commodore 64s that was just text and you had to code in Hell basic? Yeah, brother. Nice. Commodore basic. But what we're compl- we've been trying to play. T- Maybe it was just because there was four of us. Because it worked fine with three. Yeah, fair. I don't know. Maybe. Anyways, we were having problems with remote play, and like we're all pretty techy. And the worst computer we have, like out of the four of us that were playing, is John, and it's still a fucking beast of a unit. So. We yeah, don't know. I'm it's- running. What, 32 gigs of RAM, I'm running a 9700K and a 3070Ti. So it's not like I've got a complete slouch of a computer. No, it's not like you have a fucking 4600K and a 3 gig 1060. Yeah, like... Like, And that was the thing, like... You still have a piece of a computer. For me to even connect through Steam, I had to fucking disable hardware decoding, which shouldn't... Thirty ninety Ti. I have a thirty ninety Ti and a ten seven hundred K. Yeah, it may not be the best CPU in the market, but fucking thirty two gigs of RAM, ten seven hundred K, thirty ninety Ti. I should be able to fucking now, Mister A. I want to one up you. Yes, sir. The seventy nine fifty X and a forty eighty with thirty two gigs of DDR five, and I couldn't connect. Yeah, <laughs> like. Arguably, I'm not saying we all have what gig internet too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all have. I'm sorry, you guys have gig. I've got 800 megs, so damn near a good gig. Same shit, man. Like, it's fucking like what? It's like what the what the fuck's going? There's no way it's eating up all my bandwidth. No, there's no way. I mean, I know Steam packets are pretty shit, but I mean, goddamn, when I go to fucking speed test, I'm getting fucking like. 1.01 1.01 gigabit download and like 990 megabit upload. 
Yep. Yeah, like I, I get I get a gig down. Like I get there on the nine eighty down. But I'm it, I'm only promised like five hundred up and I get around four ninety. So you know, yeah. it's give or take. Yeah. It's close enough to what it is. I'm not too so far it's off like, that. Yeah, it's what you get. Yeah. It's understandable. And it's just me and Haley in the house. And if she's fucking watching anime, it shouldn't matter. Like She's upstairs too, and I'm literally I have this long of a fucking cord plugged into my computer, a Cat Six mm-hmm. plugged into my computer to my fucking router. It's fucking three feet long. Yeah, my computer's right there. <laughs> my monitor or my uh, router's right down there. I can I can touch both, like with if I really wanted to, and it's not like I'm. That's like I me. can touch both of mine with one mm-hmm. hand if I just stretch my thumb and pinky out and touch. I can touch them. Like, they're right fucking there. Oh, and that's the thing with mine, too. It's, like, five feet that way. Yeah, yeah. And it's, like, I'm probably in the same boat as John, where it's, like, it's just me. It's my computer, my TV, if it's on, and my yeah. phone. And that's it. Yeah, it's it. my phone and my computer. No one else has the password. I, I actually, I kid you not, forgot the password to my Wi-Fi, so Becky doesn't even have it. <laughs> So it's not like she's holding it up. It's not like I've got seven devices. I have a computer and an that's, iPhone 12. That's something for me is I have a ton, lot of devices on it. But and you're Canadian. Hi, cat. Yeah, but the, like that's the thing is I like a gig. my internet shouldn't shouldn't be having connection issues with no at maximum three devices because the Lord knows I'm not hooking my fucking N64 up to this internet. It, it can't. I can't. Well, GameCube scan. Even, he, I can't. Game I can't. But who? Who the fuck am I? What am I gonna play? Fantasy Star Online. Oh wait, they shut down the servers in two thousand eight. <laughs> but like, even if we're playing, it's only with remote play because we can play any other game just fine together. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like hosting I, a remote player. Like trying to connect is just bad. Yeah, and they're like, "There's not enough bandwidth." What do you mean, not enough bandwidth? When we play Hunt, I think I have the most ping, and I have, like, 65. Yeah, depending on what game I play, because I live next... I live in Maryland, not far you from most servers. Server. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You I got, like, four ping. Well, I mean, and that's the thing. Like, you, ha- you only have that ping because you're in, like, central of, like, North America, and we're pretty far east coast, so we have east, to play on the yeah. east coast servers, but... And like, yeah, and I'm quite far away from any major city, so it's like, that doesn't help. Yeah, but I mean, I've seen people fucking been able to do more shit than we have with 100, 150 millisecond ping, and I'm like, how? How are we running you, into all these issues? On UFC 4, if you have over 85 ping, you're gonna have a bad time, and it is dog shit. Yeah. It is so dumb. I, ho- I really hope they fix it in 5. And I really hope they have 5 on PC. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see how they do it, but probably not. <laughs> probably not. And sadly, they won't have NHL on PC ever, which is even stupider because we've been playing tape to tape. I want to play eShell with the boys. And I don't think you guys want to buy Xboxes just for NHL. <laughs> I thought about it. I thought about going on like Facebook Marketplace or something. And even if I, I got like an old uh, Xbox One, they still work. Yeah. I mean, I thought uh, you about probably, it. You, you could probably find a Series S for cheap. I mean, yeah, a Series S is cheap as it is. I consider yeah, that because, are... like I said last time, I, you can get like a fucking free Series S the fucking yeah. Verizon home yeah. internet but my address doesn't qualify for it okay I was considering Xbox. literally getting a second fucking Wi-Fi just so I can get the Xbox and like justify just the it ch- the cheapest bare minimum Wi-Fi yeah and just be able to land just like kind of justify it that yes it's in the end will be the same price as buying one outright but I'm paying for it monthly instead of yeah but Cause they're only like, they're three fifty, three, three seventy Canadian. It's so like three hundred bucks American or something like that. Yeah. For a Series S, which isn't bad. 
No, that's not bad at all. But if it's going to be the only thing I'm... Like, NHL is going to be the only thing I'm touching on it. There's no reason I need to get a Series S. I'll just go get a used one for, like, half that price. You can probably get a... You can probably get an Xbox One S or One X for around that same price now, if not cheaper. Yeah. Well, let me quickly hop on Marketplace for, like, 30 seconds. Yeah, that and... um. Well, I don't know, because there's MLB. Yeah. Which I don't really want to play. Mm-hmm. There's. Well, you don't want to get signed to the Rockies for five seasons? Oh. Hey, we're we on the Twins now. We on the Twins now. Yeah. Who are, who are doing better? They were, they were, yeah, they, they were, they were an they upwards. Even. Yeah, they were an upwards they were, movement. They were over five. They were like 550, 600. Where the Rockies were not. Um. There was one season where they won, where we won. I simmed it because I was sick of playing, and we won. I want to say like thirty-eight games out of the hundred and sixty. It was like a point two one win percentage. It was gross. Hey John, do you want to buy it this? It was so uh, gross. Do you want to buy this Xbox Series X near me for three hundred dollars? No. I can buy it. I just found a series or an Xbox One S for like ninety. Wait, this is the the brandest newest for three hundred. Cool, for what I have for one game, it's not worth it. Yeah, fair. Now there's more games. We can find more games. Okay, I wish we could play Skate Three. Wait, Skate Skate Four, Skate Four is coming out. Skate Four, Skate Four might come out with a PC though. Oh, it is. Is it? Has it been confirmed? Well, let me quickly do another big question. Skate. If it... or... do they have Echelon fucking PlayStation? Is the is yes, the but it, it doesn't. I don't know if it crosses. Well, I know, but if we can do that, then we can have John get like a PS4 because I've got my PS4 Pro. You know, I also have a PS4 Pro. Yeah. Like, we can play it on PlayStation 4. We could. We could. We really could. Yeah, but everybody else I know that plays it has it on Xbox. Yeah, but... Yeah. I'm sorry, all two of your other friends. All right, understood. Oof. Oof. You guys are my only friends. Oof. Oh, there's a series. Well, no, if if we... If we get it on Xbox, we can... Convince Schooly to play it too. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I mean, schools are playing NHL. I could get like a fucking. I mean, the only the only reason why I'm saying like get us like look at a Series S is just because they're newer. But they're also like, digital only, aren't they? They are. They are. Yeah, the series also is digital only. Skate Four is coming out on PC. Woo-hoo. Let's very go. nice. Let's go. I mean, this one's 160. It's probably got roaches in it, knowing the fucking people that typically sell this shit on Craigslist. Yeah. I bought my Series X new for like seven hundred bucks. That's a I'm still six hundred, six hundred. Okay, I for six hundred. I was just saying, I'm like still... seven hundred is kind of a tough pill to swallow for an for a Series X. I'm quite upset that I haven't gotten into the uh, playtesting for uh, the new Harry Potter Quidditch game, and it's kind of make me sad. <sighs> and salty. Uh, yeah, it kind of sucks for you because you're a Harry Potter fan. Okay. I really don't care. So my issue with that is like, I love, I liked Hogwarts Legacy. It's fun. Mm-hmm. I would consider getting into the playtest for it. I don't think I would ever actually buy that game. It depends. It depends on how it actually plays. Well, it depends on how it plays and how much there is to do and what they put the price at. If it comes out mm-hmm. and it's literally be... just Quidditch, nothing else. And that's the only gameplay loop is Quidditch, 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 and it's sixty bucks. And it's eighty dollars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it'd be seventy now. Fucking. It'd be seventy now. With the price I eighty for you probably, Jay. Yeah, yeah, it's eighty for me. But like, 
if it's like the full price of a game with nowhere near the amount of content that Hogwarts Legacy had, uh, I'm just going to tell them to go kick dirt. Eat, eat, eat rocks, yeah. yeah. Like, go pounder. I can't wait. Dude, I, I don't... There's, there's a few games that I'm waiting for to come out. Obviously, FTK2 for the King 2. Mm-hmm. Four player for the King, which is going to be amazing. Next time I'm home, we should stream a game... A, uh, a campaign. Oh, yeah. I fucking want For the King 2 already to just come out just immediately. Yeah. Another game I want that is coming out is uh, Silk Song. Hollow Knight. Oh, yeah. We need was... For the King 2. We do need For the King 2. We need For the King 2. I want another game like Raft. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, I don't know how much you guys played, like, games like that, but when I played it with fucking well, me, Rice, and Maxwell and Chandler, we played I the got shit it. hit out of it. I got it when it was on sale, and you're like, yeah, yeah, we all have it, too. And then I went to work, and you guys beat it, like, 18 times. Yeah. And I came back, so like, hey, you guys want to play Raft? And they're like, dude, we played, like, uh, no. I'm like, it's because you, like, okay, went yeah. to work and came back and we already had, like, 50 hours in the game. Yeah, you guys beat it, like, fucking eight times. And then the instant that, the, like, the final area came out, literally that day, hopped in it, started a new playthrough, went through, beat it fully. Got the full story. Yeah, it's like... It's like, fuck off, how are we supposed to play that? Pretty much. Um... I mean, we could do, like, a Stranded Deep if we buy it. There's a few things I want to do. Uh, there's a few games I want to get. I've been really into watching, like, Resident Evil 4 mm, remakes. Remasters, yeah. And, like, RE2 remake speedruns. And I want to fucking get them. So. I don't blame okay, them. They I'm, look good. They do look good. Next time I'm we, home, I'll probably buy them. We can do shit like, what is it, um... If I can get a capture know, card with the PS4 Pro, like I'm watching GDQ. Like if I can get that, like that fucking new Aver Media one that's coming out, that's sick. Yeah, yeah. With the with the fucking uh, no input lag pass through. Yeah. Via well, via USB C. Like that. That's yeah. That's the only thing. My Elgato has zero latency pass through 4K, but it is PCI. Yeah, and that's the that's the great thing about like this new Aver Media. It's like 4K, 60 hertz. Yeah. Uh, no input lag, pass through, and it's literally just a normal Type C, not even Thunderbolt three, just a normal 10 it's gig beautiful. USB. Yeah, it's amazing. But I wanna if I can get that, that we can go through. And there's like a bunch of games that we I have on the PS4 from like PS Plus. That they allow yeah. you their free games to play because I have like, I mean, not a great game. I, We've got like I've got like the Kingdom Hearts, the entirety, the entire series. Not a great game. Fuck you. Those are fantastic. Kingdom Hearts three was not. No, three was not good. But that, that two point eight. Yeah, that that's what I was saying. Is I I meant to preface that by saying Kingdom Hearts three, not great. At least in um, my mind, it wasn't as good as one or two. But I've got everything else so, as well as three. So. So hear me out. Okay. I steal Haley's PS5. Okay. And we do it anyway on PS5. <laughs> do what anyway? The entire Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, like she has them. She's played them all. All right, so we're going to go one. And then what is it like that fucking Kingdom Hearts trading card game bullshit? Oh, let me look it up. And then it's like two. I and think then we it's stay... like Kingdom Hearts 2.5. Rebirth, and then it's like Kingdom Hearts three two point, and then it's two like point three five fi and two point. It's a, and then it's like three fifty six over two days. It's yeah, I don't know. I also have a PS four Pro that I can hook up in here, and we can do shit. But but I also have on there, which is thick, and I don't really care to play it. Um, the Final Fantasy seven remake. I have it on PC. Eh. I mean, I, I understand, like, people want the remake. 
I was not a huge fan of the Final Fantasy 15 like play style. Yeah. For me, Final Fantasy always has been and always should be turn based. A turn based combat. Yeah. That's one thing I don't like. Like I like the remake. It's pretty good. But yeah, I wish it was turn based. All right. In chronological order, you'll need Kingdom Hearts X, uh, Dark Road, uh, Birth by Sleep slash Final Mix. Okay. Yeah. Uh, zero point two. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Yep. Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories or the remix. Yeah. Uh, three hundred uh three fifty eight over two, and then Kingdom Hearts two slash Final Mix coded or recoded three mm-hmm. D three three remind DLC and then Kingdom Hearts Melody and Memory. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. Fuck no. Yeah, they can they can go jump off a bridge, honestly. Yeah, with their naming. I love like there's Final Fantasy two and then Final Fantasy two point eight remix and then Final Fantasy three and Final Fantasy X three D. It's like fuck off. In order to play them all you need an Xbox One, a PS4 and a Switch. Hey, I have all of those. <laughs> Why would they split like, it between different consoles? Why would they have the fucking Final Mix collection that they claim has all the games if it doesn't have guess, all the games? My guess is that they released some of them back on like 360 and PS4, and some of those got pulled up to cross-platform, and those, like, the new releases were obviously on everything, but yeah. the old ones weren't. So when they pulled yeah. them up... God damn it. But then what, which I one's the Switch exclusive? I don't know, man. I just thought there were three of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair. No, there's more. It's like Assassin's Creed. Well, that's like Assassin's Creed is easier to follow, though. Yeah, it is. But it's like you got Assassin's Creed 1. I take that back. 1, one 2, Assassin's Brotherhood, Creed Revelations 2. Brotherhood, 3. Brotherhood, Revelations 3. Black Flag. Black Flag. Uh, Syndicate. Unity. Syndicate. Uh, Rogue. Syndicate, Unity, Rogue. Uh, and then it went, uh, was that Origins, Odyssey, Valhalla? Yeah. yeah. I and didn't play anything Black past. Black Flag 2. You mean Mirage? Sure. Mirage is coming out here next year, and it looks good because they're trying to return back to the whole stealth-based mechanics. Oh. So it might not be dog shit. They're Valhalla returning to the first five games? Hear me yeah, out. About time. Hear me out. Black Flag, amazing game. Black Flag, great. Amazing game, bad Assassin's Creed. Yes, I was going to say, if it was just straight up a new thing called Black Flag, not as Creed for Black Flag, it would have been better. Yeah. Yep. I, I I bought it under the guise that I was going to run around as an assassin, around like ports, not, hey, go sail on ship, go fishing, go spear fishing, go get this, go get that. No, like, if it wasn't an ass Creed game, it, it's a fantastic pirate game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My favorite Ash Creed game is Brotherhood. Either Brotherhood or Revelations for me. Revelations is so good too. The Ezio, the whole Ezio yeah. trilogy, yeah. which I have on Xbox, which we should play through oh, on the gaming channel or stream it. All five good. of those are really good. They call it the trilogy, but there's five. Is there five Ezio games? Was he in the first one? No, that was Altair. No, that's uh, that's Altair. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, Brotherhood, Revelations, and three, yeah. Well, no. Two Brotherhood Revelations. Yeah, three was Connor. My bad. Three was Connor. Which I was thinking. I was thinking Desmond for some reason because Desmond's in all five. Desmond's in all five. Yeah. Three was not my favorite. Three, I enjoyed I it. I didn't play. I have not played three. What year did that come out? AC three release. Because I remember. Remember going. They oh, have twenty twelve. I was thirteen. It was my freshman they year. They have. They have the remake that I'm thinking. I never played three. I kind of want to play three. I've played four. Four is fantastic. Three was pirate game. Three was the last game I remember going to like a family video and renting. Because I remember going down to the fucking family video. I got my Xbox One. I'm ready to play this shit. No, still 360. Be a 360. Yeah, I had my 360. I'm like, Mom, let's get this shit going. And I bought it like a week later because I enjoyed it so much. For me, three was so, such a far cry from one and two Revel- Brotherhood Revelation or Revelations Brotherhood. They all were like in a city with crowds and things like that that could make you feel like an assassin could blend in. Yeah. And three yeah. was just so different because it was 
here's a small colonial village with three buildings. Um, I'm an assassin in the trees with a rope dart. That's fair. It was a different style. Yeah, I mean, um, it, it was schooly. completely different. Everyone, everyone's favorite schooly. Um, he calls it Assassin's Creed Three Cousinhood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, no, I I fucking one hundred percented all of the Ezio games. I got that's, all of Ezio games are fantastic. All of the weapons, all of the armor, every collectible, got it all. My favorite. My favorite's the fact that I uh, I was reading into it, like a lot of the lore and shit one day at work, because we were, we were yeah. getting kind of slow. And I just yeah, needed yeah. some time to fill. I didn't realize there was like 12 or 13 apples of Eden. Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought it was just Cause... one that they just kind of passed around. <laughs> yeah, at the end of Brotherhood, they get one and it gets destroyed. Mm-hmm. There was like 12 different ones, and about six of them were destroyed. Nice. Okay, cool. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I guess if and it then, works. Um, so wait, what happened to Desmond? What? I never played. I never. Oh, he's. I was saying. He gets killed. I never played. So essentially, the the main like backstory behind all the Assassin's Creed games is there's like Juno and all the other different gods from like the past, the architects, whatever the fuck you want to call them. I don't remember. But uh, they're like one of them trying to kill everybody and like in the world, and Desmond sacrifices himself to stop that. Hmm. Yeah, doesn't he? Doesn't he sacrifice in the end of Revelations? Yes. Yeah. That's end of e either Revelations or three. I think it's Revelations. I, I think, no, I thought it was three because I no, our... it's three because Revelations is Ezio dying. Yeah. Or right. quitting. Right. Because I remember he, he was in Ezio the beginning dies. of three, and I never finished okay. three, yeah. and then four I, he I, wasn't. I, there. I never, I never played, I never played three. Oh, three was really good. It was three. And then four year four year like first person mode when you're out of the uh Yeah. When you're out of the whatever the fucking is, Anubis. <laughs> so <laughs> whatever it's called. So Ezio doesn't die in the game. He just retires and quits because he gets old. Yeah. But he's like in the lore he has a heart attack. Yeah. Mm. Cause like yeah, he's sixty five. Yeah, at the beginning of Revelations, he's pretty old. He died at 65. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the game, his beard's full fucking gray. Still got that sick-ass yeah. beard, though. That. I mean, I just like the, like, the little things that they would mention one-off. Like, at the yeah. beginnings of, like, the games. Like, at the beginning of the first game, when they notice, like, you can spot an assassin because his fucking ring fingers cut off. Yeah, yeah. yep. And like that's, I think it came back once. It did because afterwards the hidden blade didn't bother your ring finger. Yeah, they had adapted it with the wrist blade. Yep. Because after Altair, I think it's just the wrist blades. Yeah. Dude, I used to think that was so sick. I'm like, I'd give up my ring finger for a fucking hidden blade. Oh. So essentially, yeah, he he went shopping in Florence and had a heart attack. Oof. Nice. Yep. What a way to go. Spending all the hard-earned money that he had to rebuild after his entire fucking house burned down. Yep. Okay, like um, another game I want to do is Bloodborne. Bloodborne, great game, love it. I'm currently watching Dist play uh. Bo only Bloodborne. He just beat Orphan Akos, which is that would be fucking hard. The hardest boss that they have ever made. Yeah, Orphan of Akos is fucking hard. Change my mind. Did you do the troning at the fucking moon? The moon, yes. The moon presence, yeah. yes. That final boss yeah. is pretty fucking hard too. Orphan is so fucking. Lady Maria was tough. Orphan, harder. <laughs> Orphan was harder than Lady Maria. Uh, okay. Harder than fucking Sis Melania? I haven't beat Melania. Yeah, that's my point. <laughs> I, have to, I have to beat her. I have to play Marlon Ring before the DLC comes out. Um, 
Another really tough fucking fight is the last phase of the Sister Freed fight in DS3. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When she goes, like, Lady Maria mode in a game that does not have Bloodborne movement is fucking tough. Yeah, that, that's... And, of course, it's, like, Rita, phase... Rita. And then fucking... The Black Flame. Yeah. Rita, the so Black Flame. Hard. Is, dude, it's so good. And that took me so long to beat. So long, man. Like, Nameless is... Nameless? Fantastic fight. The Nameless King is an amazing fucking fight. Yeah. There's some really... Okay, I... Some of my favorite boss fights in Elden Ring are Margit and Morgoth. Yeah, I can see it. Their movesets are go so good. They're... Oh, she's so good. I fucking love the Morgan and Morgan fight. I have no horse in this race. You don't know. Yeah, it, got, it, nope. it broke its leg and got put down on the track. Will we get you playing them? No. I did like this trip down memory lane, though. Assassin's Creed, the uh, F1, as well as the uh, episodes that we came along. Assassin's Creed F1? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to trip down memory lane. What was your guys' favorite like Nintendo game growing up? Mario oh, Kart. Fuck. Either Mario Kart or uh, like, like the original GameCube uh, Animal Crossing. Super was... Smash Bros. Melee. Okay, I was going to say I'm like, which Mario Kart? Like Double Dash on the GameCube? Wii. Cube? Ooh, Mario Wii. Kart Wii. Good choice. So that's solid. I had a GameCube and Melee. So did I. Melee was fantastic. Double Dash was good, but I thought Wii Double did everything Dash better. No, you're right. Wii was, Wii was better. I I'm still think it's better than 8. 8 is good, but I mean... It's not like the pinnacle that they've made it to be over the last uh, 7 years that it's been the only Mario yeah. Kart. My problem yeah. is the tracks aren't... I mean, granted, I'm talking Mario Kart here, but they're a little too unrealistic to me. Everything's all vertical and twisty and upside down and all sorts yeah. of bullshit. Yeah. Keep it flat. Yeah. You're not going on a track anymore. Yeah, fair. It's a fucking roller coaster. I shouldn't have hover tires. That's not a thing. Another okay, it's not a Nintendo exclusive, but I played a ton of this. Is Harvest Moon? They're making a new one on the Switch. They like are. the OG? Uh, the one for GameCube. I think oh, it was like okay. a Wonderful Life. Yeah, Wonderful Life. Yeah. I was saying, like, if you had the OG and you still had it, that thing's worth a lot of fucking money now. I don't. The one I on the sixty-four. No, the one on the SNES. Oh. That, it's worth like SNES. four grand. It's worth it's worth a ton of money, man. Yeah, like I went to a, a local game shop and they had Earthbound, which is not that rare of a game. No, and it's still like it was what a thousand dollars. No, I mean it it wasn't that that expensive, but it was three hundred and eighty dollars. I've seen Mother some one. go for a thousand. Yeah, some of them gone for a thousand. Those those may be like inbox or like with the manual. Yeah, shit. those are like pristine. Yeah. This one, like, obviously had some discoloration on it, and it was still $380. Yeah. There's one thing. I want to buy a fucking GameCube again, just for memory, just for, like, to have it. Good luck. Have you seen fucking prices of GameCubes now? Yeah. If you can so get no, one that's... I checked, I checked DK Oldies. It was like, oh, no, one. Don't, don't check DK Oldies. They will rape you. Well, back in the day, I mean, a while ago, I checked. I need to find one. I need to find just, like, another old, like, a company like DK Oldies, but that won't rate me. Yeah. I mean, I've... Be Becky still has a GameCube. It's wonderful. Yeah, I've still got mine that... You have your Pikachu one, don't you? A what? Aiden has the Pikachu one. Uh, my N64. So? I have the... Oh, your N64 is a Pikachu one. Okay. Yeah, we got the Pikachu N64, which was the first game console uh, I ever got. Got that in 2003. I have the SNES. It's at my mom's house. I got, in like 2006, I got my uncle's old game consoles. So I've got the uh, their NES and their SNES from when they came out. Yeah. yeah. So I've got, actually the only Nintendo console that I'm missing is the Wii. Hmm. Becky's got a Wii and a GameCube. Because my fucking... Dad's girlfriend took the Wii so that she could play it with her fucking grandson. 
and uh, then he died, and I never saw her again. The Wii's gone, but joke's on that bitch. I have the AV cable and the power supply. <laughs> we had a red Wii. We had a, the oh. original white one. We had the original white one. Well, the one, have, the red ones had the no disc, right? No, they no. were disc. I thought the red ones didn't have the GameCube disc slot, or they didn't have something that. They no, they had they had two oh. versions of the red one. They had the sideways red one that didn't have the GameCube ports, and they had the upright one that was red as well. We had the upright one, the original, like that was just like the original Wii. Yeah. But. Oh, was it the um, Mario edition? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. And because we had the original Wii, because my mom broke my GameCube. Oof. And we had the original one. We had it for like four years and then it died somehow i forget what happened to it but then yeah we got the red one and i don't know what happened to it hmm. probably still have it somewhere probably we hit an hour probably. i was i was upset because i had on my wii i had bought so many virtual games yeah. like i had the fucking kirby uh, Adventures in Dreamland. Never like played the, that. the first Kirby game. I had that virtual yeah. console game. I had the virtual console. Um, original Zelda. Original Mario. And all that shit. And now. Oof, that's. That's gone. gone. Haley had a fucking Wii that had. It was obviously cracked. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Because it had all the games. I want to get one and do that just so I can play like all the old fucking yeah games and shit. But no, I remember another another game I liked GameCube was uh this is gonna be controversial because it's a Sega game. Um, it was Sonic Adventure Two. Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> no, Sonic Adventure Two. Oh no, that's amazing! Sonic Adventure Two. Sonic is Six. Kill yourself. Adventure 2 is great. Sonic Adventure 2 is great because that's like Shadow, Knuckles, that's that bitch. Sonic. Really. It's got my favorite music track of any video game. Rolling. Yeah. Speed ascent. When you're fucking the first level when you're like snowboarding on pavement on an airplane wing. Yeah, down in San Francisco. Yeah, in San Francisco. And then you get chased by that giant ass truck. Yeah. Yeah. Never played yeah. it. Yeah. It's good. I remember that. We used to have um shat the, of chows. We used to have the Shadow game Chow. on GameCube. That was whew. the one where the with the gun. Yeah, the one that was rated T for teen. Holy fuck. No, that was big. That was my first game that was rated T for teen. Nice. And then uh we got a three sixty and I bought Mortal Kombat and my mom said fuck no return that it that lasted all of an hour and a half in my hands before i had to go back to gamestop and return it nice didn't even have that game a full fucking it didn't even have that game a half day that was good and then my, my I, dad bought ninja gaiden 3 on the 360 oh that lasted even less that lasted three minutes in the first cutscene when a big pair of titties came out. And my mom's like, no, return it. <laughs> <laughs> and so immediately good. shut off the console. There's a bunch of old games that I fucking miss, but hey, you can emulate them. Why emulate them when you can just be like me and have all the old I consoles? Have, I don't have all the old consoles. I don't either. Oh, I'm getting tired. So, okay, you guys got to do be, work smarter, not harder. It's cheaper to find one that's working or untested on eBay. They're all like 30 to $50. And most of the time it's just untested because the person's a retard and they don't have a fucking power brick for it. I bought three okay. Atari 2600s that were untested, plugged them in, and all three of them worked fine. Because I assumed I would have to cobble one together. No, I have three working Ataris. <laughs> okay, so what, I just have to buy a power brick off of Amazon? Yeah, and there it's like, you pay $30 for the $20. console. 
ten dollars <laughs> for the brick and maybe eight dollars for like some reproduction like controller that works the exact same and yeah. you have a console that would go for four hundred dollars new or like in good condition on ebay that works for you and like the thing about me is like i want them to look nice and work properly in all yeah. honesty i really don't give a shit as long as it plays games yep i'm here for the games like i know our for the snas the thing that you know the good old you plug her in and you put her on channel three to play games yep that fucking broke and we're like fuck and i was like looking and i looked up on amazon and it was like it has the av the the av, the AV plug guy. yeah yeah which is AV the cables which is this it's the same av for the uh snes gamecube and n64 yeah yep so i just, i bought it i'm like fuck it this is gonna be so awesome because i miss playing this thing so yeah but it's at my mom's house because we were playing it the other a little while ago playing uh because we only have super mario world for it hell yeah which is fine because it's awesome but i want to find some more snes games so i'll look for some when i come up to your wedding i will bring you uh i bought one for my console but have no use for it now it's the uh, av to hdmi for that for the snes oh yes please because like i i bought one it was like 20 bucks and then the next day i went out and bought a crt yeah so I'm like, I have no, no awesome. use yeah, for this. Yeah, you could, you could, you could def- I could, I'll definitely take that. And it, it, it has a switch on the side uh, that swaps it from 16x9 to 4x3. Nice. Because that'd be awesome. Um, what else do I want to fucking... I need to get more game sort and another controller. Because I only have the one. Yeah. So. I mean... Uh, I've been slowly building up my collection of games like i just got majora's mask in the mail friday yeah that's a classic well i mean i've never played it and i it's what good. never played it's majora's, mask. majora's mask is good i prefer majora's mask over ocarina of time oh i just because i didn't like the time aspect i liked it but i didn't like following it <laughs> ocarina of time i thought wind waker is my favorite though well, Wind Waker's Wind great. Waker's good. Love Wind, Wind Waker. Waker's my Wind Waker's my second or third. I like Breath of the Wild. Yeah. I have to play Tears of the Kingdom. Haley's been playing Tears of the Kingdom and says it's fucking phenomenal. And you're not putting Twilight Princess up there? Come on now. Twilight Princess is top five. Twilight Princess is good. I hated those fucking human face chickens. Those things freaked me out. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. yet you watched Courage the Cowardly Dog and we're fine with it. It's still free- Courage the Cowardly Dog still freaked me out. Oh, I so, fucking hated it. Like, Same with dude, Flapjack. I Specifically, I, Flapjack was weird. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like Flapjack either. Even though I was older. Do you know what's a very weird show that was pretty good? Hmm. Like, just some of the aspects were kind of weird. Was Chowder? Oh, dude, oh, Chowder. Chowder was great. I love Chowder. There was. I love how like his shirt always like every time he moved, the pattern on his shirt and hat just stayed the same. Yeah. So it and was like, a the the pattern was stagnant, but the uh the decal over top or the sorry the pattern was stagnant, but then the like the actual cutout moved. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love- yeah, and like only like some characters did that, and I remember, like there was one episode where the, there was a watermark and they're trying to get rid of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bless you. And the guys, I, that peaked Bless like crazy. You. I seen that fucking peak like crazy. <laughs> And the guy's like, yeah, I tried like plenty of times to get that off, but it wouldn't work. But I can't. So yeah, it's I don't know, man. It's, that was a weird. That was weird. I like that, but there there is one scene that I loved where it was, uh, she the the fucking old lady was watching sp- Spanish soap operas named Donde Esta. And it was <laughs> they all went into like a, this hospital room, and the only thing they said was Donde Esta, but it was like with different inflections. <laughs> it was like. This dude's like on a like connected to life support, and the wife's like, "Donde está?" And the doctor's like, "Donde está?" <laughs> <laughs> then, dude, I haven't seen Chowder in so long, but it was so good. Yeah, that was good. Running it back to Courage the Cowardly Dog, the one that fucked me up the most that I remember seeing when it aired was the uh, one with the fucking plaques and the mummies with the fucking curses. Yeah, dude, that shit. Scared me to high hell. Yeah, I can watch Courage Cowardly Dog. I didn't like that. I 
I watched more than Courage of the Cowardly Dog. My dad had it on DVD. Was the Animaniacs? Never watched that much. So good. Wheel of Morality. Turn, so turn, good. turn. Tell us the lesson that we shall learn. It's so good. Dust for prints. <laughs> I found prints. No fingerprints. Don't think so. Hello, nurse. I love that one. I love the uh, nations of the world, and then the fucking the the uh, capitals of the U.S. for the fucking wacko. Yakko. Well, uh, yeah, Yakko's believe... the uh, CS:GO guy. Stupid. I can't believe he fucking did the nations of the world in one take. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like phenomenal. Well, you know the uh, Hawaiian guy they did somewhere where the rainbow was one take as well, right? Yeah. Oh. Israel comic of Ole. Yeah. You know so much obscure shit. Listen, he does. He has a beautiful he has the voice of a fucking angel or had rest in peace. And the, had. Yeah, he had. And the dude was a big dude. He was a big dude. He was but a big bitch. I'll be fucked if all of his songs weren't absolute soul tuggers. Yeah. But I don't know. But anyways, gentlemen. This has been good. This has been good. This has been a God, look back podcast. down memory lane, both for the podcast and just us. Yeah, <laughs> shit. So thank you guys for watching. Um, there's some future episodes that I want to do, and uh, they're going to be the darker episodes, because I've ta been talking about this for a while now. About nine months? About Yeah, about uh, actually talking about what the fuck is wrong with us. So <laughs> those will come Eventually. soon. TM. I don't know about this, though, Chief. <laughs> I think those episodes would fucking get views. We just talk about why we're depressed as shit. You bet, buddy. Why we fucking yeah. what the fuck is wrong comedy. With us? But yeah, is what it is. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. You guys anywhere you get your podcast. We've been at it for about a year now. Um, we try to do weekly episodes, but sadly, sometimes it doesn't work out with me going back to work and shit like that. But we try. We're better than Forehead Fables. <laughs> oh, in terms of... In terms of upload schedule, we're better than Forehead Fables. Fair. <clears throat> I'll give you that. We'll catch you next Let's time. Take... You can Enjoy. find us anywhere you get your podcasts. Bye-bye. Hasta luego. Hasta luego.